I'm live. It's Mrs. O. Yes, I'm live. I am so sorry, you guys. Uh, I don't have an excuse, but I'm going to give you one. Uh, this morning, I rode on Festus Mule. You remember Gunsmoke? I was on his mule this morning, and I just could not get it together. But I'm here. All right, you guys. Today, I'm not going to cook. But what I am going to show you guys, you guys know I make scones, okay? I know most people are like, okay, what the freak is a scone? It's kind of like a biscuit, but with mine, I add flavor and flair, and it's real popular in England, you know, and the queen has it. So I'm going to do, hello, I am going to do, I'm going to show you guys how to do an afternoon tea party table set up and let me just say this you guys even if you don't know this there is money to be made with tea parties there is a society out there that loves afternoon tea and hot tea so of course with me making scones i have to get to the afternoon teas and the high teas in order to generate more revenue. But this, I promised my grandbaby that we would have a uh, afternoon tea party. So with everyone, stop singing. Okay, my daughter said, <laughs> stop singing. I'm not singing though. No. All right, you guys, let's get right into the video. I, want, I don't want to hold you too long because I know it's a Saturday. So I'm going to try and turn this around so if i lose you hang on got that one okay got that one now i'm going to walk and show you this afternoon uh tea party that i set up all right hope it don't be too wiggly and i'll explain a little about uh afternoon tea first off Whenever you do a tea party, please, please do not use plastic flowers. You have to use the real things. No plastic flowers on afternoon teas or high teas. That's a no-no. Next, you're going to need some really nice teapots. Uh, because you're doing loose leaf tea, no tea bags in your afternoon or high tea party. And you also want a nice covering. Always start out with a white tablecloth when you're doing an afternoon or high tea party. And let me just show you uh, the menu. Afternoon tea parties are only finger foods. Small sandwiches, scones, and small desserts. High tea parties are more of your meat, your savory, and it eats like a meal, all right? Afternoon tea parties are from three to five. High tea parties are from five to eight. Now, let me just show you what I got on the menu. So, me and my granddaughter. Here, I have some shortbread cookies. You see it's finger food. I have some lemon bars. I have scones. These are my scones. I have blueberry, chocolate, banana walnut, and orange cranberry. Down here, I have the tea sandwiches. You always want them cut small because this is a tea party. So this, I have a chicken salad with grapes and celery which you guys is off the change. Then have you ever heard of a cucumber sandwich? That's very high with tea parties. I got the cucumber sandwich, but what I did in the cream cheese and the uh, chives, I put some ham in it. I put some ham through a, a, a mixer and I just not, I didn't make it mush, but I just kind of chop, finally chopped it up and it gives it an awesome flavor, all right? Now, let me show you what I did for the water. 
You can get creative. These are bottled water ice cubes. In it, I put a mint leaf and a piece of lemon. It really refreshes your water. If you're going to use bottled water, please use, put uh, bottled water in your uh, ice cube tray and use it. Don't use bottled water to drink and faucet water for your ice cubes. Make it all across the board. So here, let me give you the setting. I want you both to see, okay? These are your little teaspoons, all right? For your teacups. And with your teacups, for afternoon tea, you're going to have only a small plate, not a large one. With high tea, you will have a large plate, all right? You're going to have your fork, your spoon, and your knife, and a napkin. Please, no paper napkins. Anytime you're doing hot tea, everything should be real. Everything. Napkins, uh, teacups, your dinnerware, your silverware, all of that should be real. No plastic. And let me just show you the dessert here. I did a uh, chocolate mousse in a shot glass because you remember, this is supposed to be small. In a shot glass, chocolate mousse. And then I did the cherry pie filling on top. When I tell you, winner, winner. Oh yeah, it's pie filling dinner. I mean, it, it is off the change. And here is the second tray. Again, the lemon bars, the shortbread cookies, the scones, and the sandwiches. And some of this stuff, I'm going to be honest, you guys, you can, when you're doing a tea party, it's really nice to go to a thrift store to do your, like your tableware. I mean, you know, make sure it's nice. This right here, you see the detail in this? I got it. At Goodwill for two dollars yeah yeah can you believe that look at this look at the pattern on this now the teapots of course I bought brand new the teapots the teacups I bought new but like your tableware you know your tablecloth and whatever you're going to put over it uh, you can thrift that and with my theme I did these beautiful pink flowers I think my grandbaby loves pink. I hope I'm saying that right. You see that? That is pretty gorgeous. And down here, am I letting everybody see? This is your sugar cubes. And this right here will be for your cream. But since we're not having a black tea, most of the time they want uh, cream and black tea. We're having a herbal uh, tea, so more than likely we won't need cream. And I just did the little lemons. Those little things right there are for your sugar cubes. Okay, this right here is for your honey. Of course, I have not poured it yet, but I'm going to give you an overview of the whole table. I want you guys to see this. Is this gorgeous or what? See? I told you I wasn't going to uh, keep you too long. You know, I just wanted to show you that there is an avenue. Trust me when I tell you. For afternoon teas and high teas. Anybody interested in that? You really need to get on it. I also had a lady who requested that I teach them high tea. I was like, okay, so, you know, I'm not going to say it's bougie, but it's pretty bougie. Uh, okay, you know, let's just keep it real. There's a certain way you have to stir your tea. Uh, there's a certain way you have to hold your tea and your tea cup. So it can get a little bougie, but with the bouginess comes the dollars. All right, you guys, 
she is supposed to be here at 3 30 so i'm going to sign off i just wanted you guys to see this and if you're interested in it start looking into it you know if you like money like i do you can do pretty well with this all right god bless you guys again i am so sorry that i was late but i was on festus mule and the mule just wouldn't go <laughs> and i'm lying <laughs> i was just late all right you guys god bless you and i will see you on the next video and yes that video we will cook god bless you